In the book of Exodus, God demonstrates that he has absolutely no problem leading his people into a wilderness, an absolutely desolate place. He also has no issue keeping you there for as long as it takes. You see, God will allow you to waste as much time as you wish, complaining, crying, even mourning. Looking back at your previous life, your past opportunities, even a past partner that no longer loves you anymore. See, whatever keeps you looking back, that's your Egypt. And your Egypt isn't the place where God wants you to live. But at the very same time, I can understand why it is so hard for so many people to leave and let go of their Egypt. Because for so many of us, it's all we had. And in our mind, it was the best thing we ever had. So why would we let it go? But that is exactly why God takes his people out of Egypt and he puts them in a place where there is absolutely nothing but him. You see, before you can understand why your Egypt wasn't good for you, Jesus needs to show you what happens to a place that isn't focused on God. It doesn't last. And that's the realization that we failed to make from the beginning. Our Egypt was never going to last. Our Egypt was never there for us to begin with. Our Egypt wanted to use us and break us. But then God came along and saved us. Here's what's interesting. Your Egypt and my Egypt, they're exactly the same. They do not care about you. And your wilderness and my wilderness, they're the same. It's an isolated place where God wishes to speak to you and lead you once more. This is what I want to leave you with. You don't need to spend your lifetime in this wilderness and you don't need to keep looking back at whatever your Egypt was. If you want to remove your Egypt, you need to start seeing God's word. And when you're finally ready to leave this wilderness, you need to believe his word.